think it's important to understand that prostate cancer that stays in the prostate, that is, it doesn't spread, is often something that men live with for a very long time. Many men live long lives of prostate cancer. The danger is when it spreads, when it spreads to other parts of the body. That process is called metastasis, and that's what makes it so dangerous. Imagine that a group of cells in the prostate gland, they become like bad feeds. Instead of just staying put, these seeds break away, and they can travel in the bloodstream like the highways of our body. And if they get to vital organs like your bones or liver or lungs, then they can start to grow there and form new tumors. Our organs, like our lungs and our bones, they have very important jobs to do. They keep our body working. And when the cancer cells grow in these organs, they start to interfere with how those organs work. And that's what ultimately makes prostate cancer life-threatening in many cases. The cancer makes it impossible for the body to function. Well, think of it this way. Each cell in our body has a set of instructions that tells it what to do, how to function, when to grow, when to divide. And sometimes there's a mistake. There's a change in those instructions with a glitch in the system, if you will. You know, we don't always know exactly what causes it, although family history can certainly play a role. But what we do know is that this glitch, it can cause changes in specific genes within the cell. And some of these genes, they act like the brakes on cell division. They're there to prevent things like tumors from growing in the first place. And then other genes are more like the gas pedal. They actually promote cell growth. With cancer, it's like the gas pedal gets stick or the brakes fail, and the result is that the cells just grow out of control. And, and to make things even more complicated, each, each case of prostate cancer is unique. But we used to think that all the cancer cells within a tumor were the thingy. You know, like they were all clones of that first bad cell. But uh, with the new technology that we have where we can actually look at individual cancer cells, we're well, finding out that's not really true. They can actually be quite different from each other, even within the same tumor. And we call that tumor heterogeneity. And that's really one of the biggest challenges in figuring out how to treat cancer effectively.